Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be decorating my table and coffee nook for Halloween. So starting out, of course, clean the table off, putting a new tablecloth on. This is like one of those vinyl tablecloths with like the felt underneath. Um, I think I got it from Walmart last year. Um, the dish rack that I just put on the table, actually, I got on or got for clearance this year at Kirkland's. Um, it actually holds the full size plates. Um, so the black ones are the ceramic plates and then the white ones are the Malayan or whatever, those like hard plasticky ones. Um, and of course it does also hold the full size mugs, which is awesome because normally the ones I do see full size mugs just do not fit there. Um, I figured this year I was just going to make the table just strictly more of a fall setting, even though the mugs I put on there were all Halloween mugs, but it still worked out. We really don't eat at the table. So I was, normally I do like a whole place setting and everything, but this year I'm just trying to be a little uh, less, trying just to keep everything looking a little more clean and neat. Um, these little plates, I kind of moved them around a couple times. So I just didn't really like the positioning of them, um, but overall definitely like it. Again, really clean simple nothing crazy i am gonna try and find some flowers to put in that enjoy uh picture definitely like it it's so much cuter in person but overall so this is the table setting for fall all right so this is my coffee nook so of course this is like i still had to sign up there from the fourth of july whatever <laughs> um so of course started out by taking everything off of the coffee nook so i could wipe everything back down um, for the most part, it stays pretty clean and wiped down over there. Although the coffee pot area was kind of nasty. There's so many like coffee grounds and just spilled coffee underneath that piece of granite that I'm picking up and that, oh yeah, it was, it was kind of nasty. Um, but that thing's so heavy. I don't really move it very often unless I'm redoing it. Um, but either way, just, you know, cleaning everything off. Um, of course, taking all the mugs down, going to switch those out for um, some more Halloween mugs. Um, those hooks are cast iron hooks that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, of course, taking all this stuff off of the top shelf. I haven't really changed that out since the January, I think, whenever I took everything down from, for Christmas. Um, of course, just dusting everything off as I am taking everything down. And it was actually pretty dusty up there and there was like little cobwebs. Um, I'm actually standing on top of the counter to clean all that off. All right, so starting out, um, putting this like copper pumpkin I got from Home Goods, um, and then the rest of the pumpkins that I did find uh, this year. Again, I was trying to make everything just kind of a little clean and simple. I did add the one Halloween canister. I got that one, I, don't, I think, three years ago. Um, and I'm putting this little garland that I got from Michael's last year. I like it because it's, it's simple, it's clean, it's not too bulky. Um, overall, definitely love how this little top shelf turned out. It definitely screams fall to me. <laughs> We're a little bit of Halloween. Um, this sign I got from Michael's as well. Um, the happy pumpkin spice season. Even though I'm not even a huge fan of pumpkin spice. I'm <laughs> more of a the salted caramel type of gal. Um, that warmer light is actually a Scentsy Warmer I got last year. So that was the last year's um, Halloween house. Um, I went ahead and cleaned the coffee pot. And I figured since I cleaned it, might as well do a clean run cycle. So, of course, putting the vinegar, letting that thing do. So, it was burning my nose hairs as I was finishing up putting everything back um, on the countertop. So, I did switch out a couple of things. These little guys, you'll see where I put them in a second. They're like little ghost garland. Um, so, putting all my black mugs back, um, I really don't have that many of them. But I did go ahead and replace some, a lot of the white mugs with some Halloween ones. Um, I ended up putting this little topper I made last year on my new mug that I found the fall, y'all. Um, that one has like that pretty sage green inside. Anyways, well, hopefully you like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and then I'll see you in the next one where I'll be redecorating my living room. Thanks, guys.